and I'm going to talk about how we combined case and workflow management within our product. Um, <laughs> starting with Kamunde, um, so we, we, um, we are bootstrapped, so we don't have any external venture capital or any external funding, which um, I like a lot, I have to say. We could do that because we used to do consulting for four years before we actually started selling a BPM software product. Um, so that product is, um, is all about what we call developer-friendly BPM. So we don't believe in that zero-code BPM story, um, the complete model-driven um, development approach. And it's BPMN and um, Java-oriented and open source, by the way. So, um, but BPMN is not, or BPM is not only about structured work. So for instance, uh, three years back, we helped the patent office in Switzerland implement their core process of trademark applications and patent applications. And um, there we had to yeah, find ways in order to support the structured work as well as um, the non-structured work. And we could do that by plain software development. That was okay, because BPMN itself is not really suited for that. But there are certain, you know, like patterns that we see um, again and again. So we thought maybe it makes sense to deliver something more out of the box, especially because most process applications that we have seen are somehow a combination of, of structured and unstructured work. We have already heard that um, today. So um, about a year ago, we decided to implement a CMMN, a, um, a case management um, standard by OMG. Actually, we wanted to implement case management anyway. And um, it was just luck that at the same time, CMMN was, was published by OMG. And we looked at that standard, and our engineers said, well, wow, that's, that's a really sound standard. The execution semantics are actually even better than in BPMN. So we implemented that last year and released that November. Um, um, 2014 as part of our core product. So now there's one Java API and one REST API that allows you to speak BPMN and CMMN at the same time in a seamlessly integrated way. Um, I'm going to demo that right now with an example from one of our customers. It's about underwriting within the life insurance application process. And it's about that underwriting, which is actually um, yeah, a case. So it's not a real predefined sequence of activities. It's stuff that I may want to do as um, the underwriter or case uh, manager um, in no predefined order, and I'm working towards certain milestones and results. That's the basic idea. So this is um, a, just the tip of the iceberg, really, of the standard. So just a few things that you can see here in a so-called case folder. I will just explain that later on when I'm not so in a rush like, like right now. Oh yeah, and kudos to, um, to Denis Garnier um, for their Trisotech model, actually, it's, it's a great tool. So um, that case, that underwriting case, is actually part of a BPMN process um, that we will um, trigger in the first place. And so there will be a set of sequence activities, then we will have that underwriting case. And as a part of that underwriting case, we're going to trigger another BPMN process, which is about requesting more information from, from a doctor, basically. So it's about that combination of, 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 of um, CMMN and BPMN, like one way or the other. Um, so what's my takeaway, or what's our takeaway? Basically, we do like CMMN. So it, it, it can deliver um, in the sense that it meets our customers' requirements. Um, as I said, it's more or less kind of lightweight, not too complicated, and the execution semantics are, are really sound. So our engineers are quite happy with that. However, of course, it's really early stage, so when looking at what it actually is you know, good for, I'm, I'm not so sure yet, honestly. So BPMN I'm really well familiar with, CMMN I'm just about to learn myself in a way, and the whole domain of case management, which is of course extremely complex. Um, at the same time, you can of course question whether it makes any sense at all to have a notation for case management. That's another argument within the ACM space, and it's sound, of course. Um, however, our customers told us it's better than nothing, actually. So our next step will be to not only implement it on the execution side, but also on the modeling and monitoring side. So this is BPMN, of course, stuff that we can already do in BPMN. We're going to do with CMMN as well. And um, the other next step for this year is that we will actually add um, DMN to the stack. So it um, makes a lot of sense, as you can imagine. So we will implement the DMN standard on the execution as well as the modeling side within this year. Um, it makes sense to, to implement that, um, that business rule um, execution in a new way because we asked about 450 people whether they actually like um, their business rule execution technology that they had at hand um, right now, like ODM, Druls, um, and others. And they said, uh, well, actually not.